body is turning. I don't yield my members to just any thing. Lord, have mercy. I wish I had some folk in here that would say I'm getting ready to do a complete turn from the wrong direction to the right direction. To being cursed, to being blessed, to being under, to going over. Can I get a witness in here? There's getting ready. To be a turn. I need to find 35 crazy praises that would say there's getting ready to be a turn. I said there's getting ready to be a turn. Lord have mercy. And I believe that God's getting ready to restore some relationships. Can I get a witness in here? Because if the truth be told, sometimes the enemy will try to damage relationships. Here. If you're really anointed, you expect warfare. You expect to go through something. If you got a fight in your relationship, that's proof that the relationship is of God. Uh, uh, because, because, because the enemy, the enemy, the enemy, the enemy would just leave you alone. Uh, but, but, but he, want, he wants to destroy what God has ordained. And, and, and some of you, some of you need to, to go through, need to go through a detox wow. process. There, there's some stuff that you haven't let go of. Say so. Say so. There's some stuff that you're still trying to hold on to. And you can't start a new relationship with old baggage. And some of you, my God, you may be dealing with somebody right now uh, that's trying to deal with you that's got old baggage. Uh, and you need to go ahead and tell them, listen, before we can move any far further, before we can move forward, uh, we've got to get rid of this old baggage. Uh, can I get a witness in here? Uh, yeah, 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 because, because, uh, don't, don't make me pay for what somebody else done to you. Y'all ain't said that thing, huh? Oh my God, I'm getting ready to mess this up. Huh? Uh, just because huh? that other Negro dogged you out huh? don't mean I'm going to dog you out. Huh? Can I get a witness in here? Huh? I need to find some folk in here huh? that would say, you know what? Huh? I understand huh? that sometimes God huh? has to allow us to go through huh? a detox in order huh? for him to get in order for us to enjoy huh, what he has ordained. Huh, can I get a witness in here? Huh, and I, I don't mean huh, to let you into my business. Huh, oh my God, but I believe huh, that in this season, God wants some people huh, that would be transparent. Huh, I thank God huh, huh, that would say the true spirit huh, of intercession rests on the inside of me. Huh, because with the true spirit huh, of intercession rests on the inside of you, your children can be going through something. And you say, Della, you can't have my baby. I know they're struggling right now. I know they got issues, but you can't have Lord have mercy. I'm the one that picked up the phone and I saw the text message and I didn't even feel led to mention it to my baby. But I Yeah. 
You make yourself jealous. Cause don't make me pray. <laughs> If I pray, something is going to happen. Some folks don't know who they're dealing with. Don't come for me, baby. Because I'll come for you. I got something that you ain't got. I call on the name of the Lord. Y'all may say that. I call on Jesus. I've seen an action. Don't come, don't, don't come, don't come for me. I'm, I'm the wrong person to come for. I'm God's anointing. <laughs> David could have killed Saul. Could have killed him. But the reason why he did it is because he respected his anointing. The problem is, Pastor, we've got too many people that disregard the anointing. Let me tell you something. You can manufacture and make up a lot of stuff, but you can't make up a real anointing. You can't make up when God has made his hands on somebody. When God has anointed somebody. When God has chosen somebody. You didn't understand Stay in your place, and if you ain't got nothing good to say, you better not say nothing at all. I'm getting ready to mess this up. I'm getting ready to mess this up. When sometimes the more anointed you are, the more issues you got. That's why everybody can't be around you. Everybody can't handle your, your nakedness. That <laughs> even though you are anointed, the Bible says in the flesh dwelleth no good thing. Y'all ain't said nothing up in here. Now I believe that you ought to have some restrictions. I believe that you ought to have a sense of urgency to live holy because for the record for 35 praises, holiness is still right. God want people with clean hands and a pure heart. But in warfare, you might get anything. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 That's why the Bible says, fight. The good fight of faith. Then one scripture says, uh, contend for the faith. Uh, God is looking for some people that will not compromise the gospel. He's looking for some people that would just simply believe. Yes. Now, now you can't operate in faith and fear at the same time. Okay, who, who am I talking to? I'm gonna say it again. You can't operate in faith and fear at the same time. Either you're gonna believe or you're not gonna believe. Uh, see, 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 let me tell you something. Huh? The Bible said God has not given us the spirit of fear, but He's given us a uh, 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 love. Huh? power and a sound mind. So if you're operating in fear, you're operating in something that the devil gave you. And I need to tell somebody in the name of Jesus, I uproot fear. You're going to make your next move and your next move is going to be successful. I said I uproot fear in the name of Jesus and your next move is going to be successful. Tell your neighbor, say hey neighbor, Go ahead, make your next move, and watch God exceed your expectations. Can I get a witness in here? I'm not scared, baby. I know what it's like to succeed. And for 35 folk that are holler back at me, and I know what it's like to fail. I believe we got a room full, a room full of people that's failed before. Let me tell you something.